there's two things that I see that break down within actually lower body mechanics too. And it's the words and the expressions of powerful and explosive. Powerful, you'll see a lot of kids think powerful and they'll, they'll go down and then think about just holding their weight over their drive leg for a long period of time because that feels powerful and they're mistaking powerful for just activation and contraction of quad, glute, all of these things. So then within powerful, you have kids that completely defy forward acceleration. Now remember, in order to produce velocity, we need, we need uh, acceleration and force. Okay, so obviously those two components intertwine to produce velocity, and we just wanna make sure that either we're doing a ton of one and minimal amounts of the other, or a ton of the other and minimal amounts of the other, whoa, or we're, we're splitting it, right? Like 50-50, 70-70, like whatever. We just wanna make sure that we're doing some. So now with powerful, like I said, a lot of down and then holding weight back, defying acceleration. So you have a very limited amount of acceleration, especially when we're on a slope and we, that's the point in time where we want acceleration. We wanna use our mass to produce more acceleration. And if we're continuously defying that acceleration, then we're not picking up any forward move, right? And our task is forward, okay? Second thing within the lower body mechanics, um, just dangers, I guess I would say, is the, the expression of like uh, being explosive. How do I be explosive in my delivery? Now, the explosive thought is a trigger for me as an instructor to determine what that athlete perceives as explosive and what he doesn't perceive as explosive. Now, the thing that I see constantly with kids that say, oh, that feels explosive is when we put them in like a skater jump, right? So we go here and then we go, huh. they're like, yeah, that feels explosive. Well, within the delivery, as, you, as we'll talk about here when we get into more of the components of drive leg and hip rotation, is you don't wanna elevate, right? You never wanna elevate the posture of your hips and you wanna continuously sink your pelvis as you proceed into your front foot strike. Now, the, the difficult part is sometimes you mistake in explosive, which is down, elevate, for down, jump, and to press off the ground. I've done a lot of videos on rotate, don't push. So when we sink, right, it's a, we wanna drop, we wanna apply force into the ground, that's our, that's our power, essentially. And now as we proceed into our drive phase, we wanna rotate, we wanna sink and rotate the hips and we wanna open up those hips. That's how we're gonna create optimal amounts of separation is by making sure that our hip rotation is not only on time, but the mechanics of it are correct. Okay, so if we're, if we're not, we're, we're trying to think about what makes us powerful and you see elevation, now you're, you're directing energy up when we wanna sink. We wanna continuously be applying energy down into our front foot strike, okay? so. Um, in terms of the lower body mechanics, I just wanted to do a quick video in regards to like terminology, I, I would say, making sure that the, the, the athlete is understanding specific goals and, and not necessarily restricting per movement per se, but just making sure that we're moving in the right direction. Because I, I would say, especially with the young guys, you want to just make sure that the things that they're, they're trying to grasp and feel are efficient movements. Because if they're trying to grasp and feel movements that aren't efficient that actually cause breakdowns the more that you train that it's more motor patterns that we have to readjust later down the road so uh, hopefully that makes sense but like i said i wanted to do that quick video just so we're crystal clear on a couple different things that i see and hear oftentimes in terms of how do i be more powerful in my delivery how do i be more explosive how do i use my legs and all these things so um yeah hope you got something from that